Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at this uh, Amazon's cheapest camera support backpack that I did a review on uh, a couple months ago now um, that I've really enjoyed using. And I want to upgrade it because this uh, clasp that comes on the end of the uh, attachment here isn't the best. Um, for one, it's pretty heavy, uh, so it adds to the weight. But more than that, it sort of swings around and, and really threatens to injure you um, as you're putting on the backpack, as you're putting on the, the vest. Um, and then also it doesn't close all the way, if you can see that. It doesn't close all the way. It has like a little gap here and I, I don't quite trust it. So um, because this is based on the Easy Rig and it's a popular uh, platform, um, a lot of people have upgraded it with this thing called a frog clip. It's used for rock climbing and a few other things. It basically has two little handles and you have to push them both at the same time to open. Then you insert some kind of shackle and then it clicks down. And it means that uh, pushing on one side won't open it enough, pushing on the other side won't open it. You have to push them simultaneously and to remove it. So this seems like a pretty good upgrade solution. Um, this cost me $12 on Amazon, I think. Um, I got two of these for about the same price um, and they are the, the three eighths um, that goes into your standard. Uh, this is a small rig handle, so I can screw this down here um, and that will just go into the top of my camera cage or the top of my camera. Um, and then I won't have to worry about the camera slipping out of the um, shackle um, or the basically the shackle hitting me in the head while I'm putting it on. So first thing we're gonna do is, it looks like there's just a knot in the spring here. So I'm gonna put some um, slack on the thread, take my little knife here and then just through the string, through the spring. And um, rather than try and get that shackle off, I'm just gonna cut it here and take off this guy. I've seen a couple of people who basically get a larger frog clip and then attach the frog clip um, to this clip, uh, but that just adds more weight to it and adds another point of failure. So now what I wanna do is give myself some more slack to um, work with. I'm just gonna wrap this around. So now I have my piece of thread. What I'm gonna do is called an anchor bend. Uh, which is the way that sailors attach uh, line to an anchor, which is I'm gonna go twice through the shackle. I have two loops here. I'm gonna feed it around and back through the loops. And once I fit it back through, I'm gonna do two turns around the running part of the line to secure that. Two half hitches on the line itself. So then what I'll do is use gaffer tape to tape the um, cable to itself or electrical tape so that it won't um, dethread. So I'm gonna take my piece of gaffer tape and then just, uh, it's nice high bright yellow. Tear it and then tear it again. Put it around the end of my line here so that the end of the line won't fray. And that also has the advantage of giving me something high vis um, so I know where the end of my thing is. Now I'm gonna untie this from tension. So here we have our adapted camera support backpack. Let's try it on. So there you have it, the frog clip conversion uh, to your off-brand Easy Rig uh, for a reasonable amount of money. Now having tried it out, I can safely say that it's a lot easier to connect, it's a lot easier to disconnect from once you get the uh, hang of it, and it's a lot easier, um, basically a lot more, it feels a lot more secure. Definitely check um, what your frog clip is rated for as far as weight goes before you commit a camera to it. And if it says 20 pounds, don't put 19.5 pounds of weight on it. Make sure that uh, you have a margin of safety. I would say at least 10 pounds. So 
put, if you, if it's rated for 30 pounds, you can put 20 pounds on it. If it's rated for 50 pounds, you can put 40 pounds on it. Definitely have that margin of safety. Um, don't risk your entire camera setup um, on the fact that a manufacturer perfectly rated because there's always uh, there's always wiggle room and um, as you're jostling and moving depending on what shot kind of shot you're getting uh, you'll obviously put more stress than the weight of the camera is as it's dynamically moving on the on the rig that was my c500 uh, mark ii rig with my 35 millimeter um, sigma cine prime you can find both of those in the description if you're interested in more things about uh, filmmaking canon cameras and uh, lighting, definitely check out canonmasterclass.com. I have a ton of content up there, including interview lighting, uh, running a production company, how to find clients, and a ton of other content uh, to help you improve as a filmmaker. You can buy individual courses or you can stream the entire site for just $14 a month. Check it out at canonmasterclass.com. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.